Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Aquarius for your mid-March to end of March tarot card reading. Uh, thank you for subscribing and liking the videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos. And um, if you haven't already, check me out in the Dee's Divine Guidance Facebook group, uh, VIPs. I will post the link below. You can interact with me one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, not one-on-one, -on -one, but in a group with psychic readings and uh, Reiki healing sessions, okay? If you like a personal reading, the link is below. All right, what messages do we have for Aquarius for mid-March to the end of March? One more shuffle. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. So right now I feel like you're feeling strong. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like you are kind of like buying your time, right? So you've got the strength card. So this is like about like, you know, taming the lion here. It's about patience. It's about feeling strong, feeling like you know who you are. Um, so I get that energy and I've got the 10 of pentacles here too, which is about, um, uh, I'm sorry, about abundance and about stability and, but then you've got the ace of cups, right? And this is all about like a new offer, a new, um, a new beginning, a new beginning of love, a new beginning of a relationship, maybe a friendship, maybe, uh, something with your career, um, so right now to maybe next week or the middle of next week, um, I feel like your energy is good, right? But towards the end of the month, it starts to get a little bit tricky because you've got the 10 of wands, okay? And um, Capricorn had this in the same position where it's like you start to take on too much. So maybe like towards like right now and towards next week, like you're, you're feeling really good. You're feeling really powerful and you're feeling really stable and generous. And, you know, so you start to do new things, right? And maybe you start to, um, you know, maybe start, a, a like an entrepreneurship or like, a, um, a new job or, a, a some like going back to school and you get this idea and you're feeling very good and stable and, and great. But then all of a sudden those new beginnings turns into carrying too much. All right. Putting way too much on your plate. And then at, after you do that, you've got the five of pentacles, which is basically like feeling left out in the cold. Maybe this wasn't as good as you thought it was going to be because now it's put everything on, on your shoulders here. And now it's just like way too much. And then you've got towards the end of the month, the five of wands. Okay. And this is like conflicting. This is like bickering. Um, so I feel as though whatever is happening now is maybe going to cause you to take too much on and that's going to leave you feeling drained, okay? And it's going to leave you feeling like um, like really tired and drained. So this might cause like bickering between you and your spouse or you and your um, par partner or maybe you and your friends or your family or your parents or your kids. Um, so just watch what you take on this month, okay? The, um, you know, we're hitting um, Mercury and Jupiter. I think it's on the 21st. So, um, is it Mer no, I'm sorry. It's, it's, what am I saying? It is Mercury going retrograde in Aries. So this is like, Aries is like the childish behavior. So just be careful of what you're putting on your plate right now um, because you don't want to get this energy towards the end of the month. And then we've also got a full moon coming on the Janu um, March 31st. All right, so just be careful of what you're doing. Be conscious, all right? Stay strong, be patient, all right? Don't start taking on too many things because it's only gonna leave you drained and feeling like you've gotta defend yourself and you're gonna be petty and conflict with, conflicting with everybody. So just watch what you're putting on your plate, all right? So let's pull two fairy cards. Two fairy cards for the sign of Aquarius for mid-March to the end of March. One more shuffle. Yeah, okay. So you've got the breaking free card and the sexuality card, all right? So like I said, through this, it's like break free, break free from the, um, from the feeling like you need to take on 
more things than you're than you want to okay because you don't want to you need to break free from this energy of feeling drained and and petty okay so get out of the mindset that you need to take these things on all these new beginnings that might be coming like you don't need to say yes to you can say no all right so that's the breaking free and then you got the sexuality card which to me is all about like getting out there and and enjoying yourself um feeling good about yourself and just being who you are. I feel like there's a lack of um, fun and a lack of joy in your life right now. Um, I feel you've got the strength and you've got the Ten of Pentacles, but I feel like you're lacking the joy. All right. So bring a little bit of your sexiness out. All right. Go strut your stuff. Feel good about yourself. Flirt a little bit and start to like, you know, get yourself back here because I feel like you've been losing it over the past uh, like month or so, maybe with the full moon, even maybe since January, it's kind of been slowly creeping in. So go out and enjoy yourself. And, um, you know, even if you're married or with a partner, like just go out and have some fun. Okay. Even flirt with your partner, like get that, get that chemistry back. All right. Spend a date night out and really get back to what matters. All right. All right. Romance card for the sign of Aquarius for mid-March to the end of March. Yeah, you deserve love. You are lovable. So yes, you deserve love. You are lovable. So get your butt out there. Um, show the world who you are. All right. Don't let this energy phase you. Be careful of what you're taking onto your plate um, so that at the end of March, you're not left drained. And going into April, um, you know, you're going to feel a little bit better, I think, breaking free and with your sexuality out there. All right. So if that resonates with you, please, please, please leave me a comment below. And thank you again for subscribing and liking these videos. It means a lot to me, guys. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the Facebook group. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.